we woke up to rain, which cleared out pretty quickly, and then provided us with this unbelievably gorgeous sunrise. <laughs> we are at the Love's Truck Stop, just south of Sixton, Missouri, on I-55, on the west side of the Mississippi, heading north. We're glad you're here to join us. Uh, we have a nice ride planned for you today, and we have a few issues with our ELD. So buckle up, hope you got your coffee ready. Let's go. Welcome to the joy of trucking. particular morning yes well if you look outside it's pretty wet it's been raining all night so I was checking the weather on our route we're going we're going up towards st. Louis on 55 and then we're going down on 44 to st. James Missouri so I checked the weather in those two places and st. Louis is looking okay but uh, st. James is gonna be raining all morning we should be there around 10 o'clock this morning so uh, that's the story. You're going to have to watch the roads for slippery spots. And it is Sunday morning, so I expect traffic won't be that bad. This afternoon, it'll probably pick up. In the summertime, Sunday afternoons are pretty busy with people getting back home after their weekend. So I hope we're off the road by 4 o'clock or so. Uh, we don't know what our next load is, so when we drop off this morning, uh, I'm not sure where we're going after that. But we'll find out. I'm going to send a message on our first uh, break in a couple hours try and get somebody working on the next pre-plan. Those are my considerations for this morning. We got everything ready to go. Everything's locked down, put away and tied up. Have some food prepared here. There's some oranges and sweet peppers and hard boiled eggs and mixed nuts and fruit and stuff. And I got some vegetables back there once we go through all this. So I'm ready to feed Tanya today. Oh, that's so kind of you. Yeah. Hey, look at that truck. Keep, me, keep me like a pet here. Take good care of me. Yeah. Feed me. So, we're ready to go. Let's go. Okay. What about distances and stuff? We have 227 miles to go to our delivery this morning. Now we're going to stop at the Loves on 55, just south of St. Louis, so we can get another coffee for you. And then we don't have to worry about trying to find a place to go to the bathroom in the city, which is always difficult. And then once we're up the other side, uh, there's a uh, the St. Clair rest area. We're going to stop there before we get to St. James. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Yeah, look at this thing. Oh, his door 
ghetto blaster. Well, it gets attention. J has twice as many parking spaces, and there's a TA on the other side of the highway here at the interchange. That's really big, so I imagine they're full too. Yep. Okay, we're going to make a left. Turn left on I-55 North. stuff, large variety of things probably, picked up at a, a distribution center near Mobile where they get the stuff from the container port and then they split it up into loads going to different distribution centers in their district, in, in, you know, up in the Midwest. So we're going from a distribution center to a distribution center and they'll take this load and break it up to go to the stores in their area. That's we, the supply chain. We saw a very interesting diagram there where we picked up and showed all the ports 
all the distribution centers at the ports, like in California and Mobile and Georgia and what's the other one? There's Maybe one, Baltimore. There's, there's one in Chicago on, on the Great Lakes. So I imagine container ships going all the way to Chicago and unloading there for distribution in the upper Midwest. Yeah. And then the next diagram showed the local distribution centers that that one serviced. That was pretty cool. There's like eight of them or something, right?
and uh, after that it was charging so it did make a better connection but maybe the contact that connects it to the computer in the truck is still got corrosion that's my thought so when I get back and I get my service done on the truck I'll put that on the list they can they can look at that either do something to the contacts or replace the stand you know or they could check the connections, the wi actual wiring connections. Yeah. Yeah, because it's kind of important. To some people. <laughs> What's that? From Benelli to Bourbon. A shotgun and a bottle of booze at the farm hardware store. Oh, okay. Get your shotgun and your bourbon. One stop shopping. Are under obligation to have your logs up to date throughout the day so if your ELD is not working it goes out you got to go to your paper logs and start writing down where you stopped and how long and you know mark it on the graph and everything um, because if you get stopped and a DOT officer is checking your logs he sees this thing's not working he's gonna ask for your paper logs right away if you haven't filled them out then you're in violation right uh, so you couldn't just leave it not working and keep driving and keep driving and save your clock nope no no nope. darn that's, it that's why that thing is there <laughs> okay so keep compliant which is why you always have the paper logs with you as a backup yep burgundy truck <laughs> oh my goodness that was so funny look at him oh oh he went through the scale and then 
pulled in there. Okay. Turned around and went in the <laughs> fuel lane. Because he's got to go. <laughs> really Ter <bad>. Apparently. <laughs> problem solving. Alright, here we are. Hey, hey, that's what we're doing. Oh, that, that car is hanging over a little bit. Yeah, Be careful that. when you do this corner. Next thing you'll have a car on your roof. Okay, let's get more coffee. Woohoo! Got the coffee refill. swung too wide and was about to go off the side there. Because he backed up, so you see the edge? I bet he went too close to the edge and there's a drop off. Oops. Sorry there. Huh. Oopsie, oopsie. Okay, okay, that's enough potty talk for now. So, hey, thanks for riding with us. We hope you enjoyed it. Give the video a thumbs up. Make sure to put your comments and questions below. What kind of ELD problems have you had? And subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell if you haven't done so yet. And we'll see you in the next video. With love from Kevin and Tanya. Bye.